guys to this video it is obi-wan kenobi finally he's in the game he i think he came out last week before i returned to the game and to be honest is one of the reasons why i came back i like the addition of um obi-wan kenobi and count dooku which i think is awesome and it would be interesting to see what net marble can add to the game going forward um, but let's see what happens and let's see how all of that comes together so i've purchased um a pack not the expensive one um because to be honest i don't know how long i'll be hanging around for um right now i've played some games on my tier 10 account which is now tier 11 and the matchmaking still stinks now it could be because it's one day after the reset but i mean come on i've played four one versus one games and have all been against tier 12s strong tier 12s as well um but I've managed to, importantly as you've noticed, discover my main account. I've managed to uh, get my password sorted out. Um, so I'm back on my main account. Going to have a practice around with a few decks and a few ideas. And just to see what happens. So let's open up the pack first. So I purchased this pack here for £8.49. Uh, I might get Count Dooku tomorrow, but I'll let you know about that. So we get um, the crystals. We get Obi-Wan. Come on, Cody. There he is, times two, apparently, I think. And we get this pack. Ah, uh, okay. Never mind. People are using them, so it's not so bad, I suppose. Um, so right now, I've been trying out this deck with Padme, and I've had some success, um, but it, it's still, obviously, trial and error right now. It's not enough to show off as a deck in one versus one or 2v2. And I haven't played for months. I think my first game I had, um, yeah, 76 days ago that was my last game, uh, and then my first game today was was against Bosk with his deck, who I um, slapped silly. So the plan is today is to um, try and put together a good um, deck for good old Ben here in some 2v2 and then I might do some 1 versus 1 later on. Uh, I am extremely rusty right now and some cards are catching me by complete surprise um, as I don't know what to expect from them because obviously I haven't played a game for so long and there's new cards introduced and as you saw in the Poe Dameron video uh, <laughs> I kind of got caught out by um, some of it. So that is it. So that's Ben. So I'll do a video for Ben, play some games, and put together a deck, and hopefully make a good deck, and then we'll come back and see how we get on. So Maybe welcome we'll back, for Serena players. So what we're going to do, I've been playing about with Ben Kenobi. Good old Ben. Well, hello there. And I've decided to use this deck for 2v2. I've just had a few games of 2 versus 2 and I haven't done too badly, to be fair. I had a deck earlier on with the ATRT in there. Um... And I think I had, what else did I have? I had a stun grenade in there too. And it just didn't work. Although we could have won the game, um, had my partner did a bit more on his lane, because I took down a turret. But it was just a heavy, heavy deck. So I wanted to take advantage of, of Commander Cody's ability as well. The fact he's got rocket troopers and he does do some good damage. Uh, and obviously you've got Ben there for defensive abilities with his special ability. So I've got a whole clone army here. Um, I'm going to use the Clone Troopers, Arc Trooper for anything heavy, of course. Gunship, it's a staple for me, to be honest with you. I love this card so much. It does a lot of damage and gives you Clone Troopers. And, of course, a bit of melee damage. And, importantly, the uh, Hyper Adrenaline um, to give you a slight boost, which you'll see in these two games of 2 versus 2. Now, I don't know about you guys, but the queue time for 2v2 is horrific. Absolutely horrific. Um... So let me know in the comments below if you're having the same problem. It could just be me. I'm waiting five, six minutes for a match. Um, and that worries me, especially if I'm going to stream. But anyway, without further ado, we'll have some Ben Kenobi fun and get into some gameplay 2v2. Now what's interesting about this game is that I think I played the same Darth Maul in the previous match. But Darth Maul, as we all know, will just charge down the middle lane. That's what Darth Maul does. So we'll keep an eye out for that. And these are the decks that everyone is running. Bear in mind, we have no idea what people are playing until the game starts. So it's interesting, we've got Ray on my team against Phasma and against Maul. I'm staying well out of the way of him. Phasma's unique. 
Ben, Ben's deflecting stuff there, which is kind of cool. Now, this obviously getting used to playing Ben, so you have to bear with me a little bit. Um, but he plays a little bit like Ray, a bit slow moving, deflects shots. I thought he had a mind trick as well, but he hasn't got that. Um, but anyway, here we go. This is where we're going to make my push. Generally, Rush goes on there. Ben slowly walks in, push back the two um, leaders. And what I've done, I've taunted there, and that allowed my clone troopers and Cody to take down that turret. Epic move right there. Uh, that's the sort of thing I'm thinking about with this deck. And that worked a treat for that attack. So Phasma is going in strong on our turret. Sometimes in 2 versus 2, you just have to surrender a turret. The important one to defend is that middle one. Which is what Maul is clearly going for right now. One thing I don't like about Ben, he is very slow moving. He'll walk everywhere. He's casual, I suppose. That's what it could well be. I'll just deflect these. I'm, I'm going nowhere near that gun after the last time I poked Dameron. There you go. See that, mate. Uh, so one thing I didn't understand here was I actually had the ability on charge and I'm trying to move and I couldn't move and I thought what do I do now and I thought you know what I have to press the button there it goes <laughs> get myself off of that but it's a good push Ray is pushing the middle we've got to keep Maul occupied we can't afford to let Maul go down this middle lane which is what his plan is as you can see there he's poking away with his special ability card he's also having a go with his air units everything has been put down on that middle turret so we have to defend it as best as we can but not to, i tried to let ray have that actually but i went over it by mistake but sorry ray um, but right now push the middle lane their middle turret has gone so the shield generator is vulnerable so if we keep pushing down that middle what will happen now we'll just keep more busy so we can't make an attack which allows us enough time to push up the middle lane and hopefully do some damage on that shield generator. But right now, I'm going to take out this droid car. One thing about Force Arena is the cars are amazing, the animations are amazing, the sounds are amazing. You won't find a game. This game, I think, has got more content than Star Wars Battlefront 2. Actually, it has. So there, I'll do die there. But the focus now, what I've done was there, left the door open. I used my hyper adrenaline rush on Ray's troops. Uh, her resistance troop is there so she can make an attack uh, and kill the leader and then get us onto the turret and as you can see now if i can get it quick enough the shield generator is unvulnerable and another rush and then oh look at that it's just one more shot and that's a gg good game good game good, good old ben look at that animation it's awesome well hello there i love it so that was a good game and we're going to move on to our next match for 2v2 Playing against Count Dooku, and I think it's the same Darth Maul as a previous game we're against as well. So we know already he is going to charge down that middle lane. And my partner won't know that because I don't think my partner played against him. Um, but I'm with Padme against Count Dooku and Darth Maul. This is going to be an epic battle. So Darth Maul is going to make his usual push. Count Dooku is going to know that support. Interesting to see the Vulture Droid as well. I had no idea the Vulture Droid actually lands on the ground either but making a push top left just to keep more um our dear old friend Duke busy but he throws out some snipers and as you can see here Maul's going for that middle turret so I want to use my clone drop ship take out the snipers keep everything busy down this lane right now get rid of those um right troopers they actually melted Cody which I couldn't believe to be honest with you that did surprise me um chase down Duku now run Duku Looking like an old gentleman. In goes Ben and Rush onto the turret. In go the right troops. We will melt this turret. Duke has come over to try and stop us. But there isn't much he can do right now. He's spent all his energy and he can't stop it. And that's going to be awesome for us as we do as much damage as we can. In comes his Vulture Droid, which is epic. Look at that. Beautiful. But I do die. But hey, it was a price worth paying as the turret does fall. I gave some troopers to Padme as well, just to help her push in this right lane. And that's a good idea because obviously she's taking down that turret there. We're going to sacrifice this top turret here. That's almost gone. It isn't really worth worrying about. We just have to stop Maul really coming down here. Which Padme is doing with her double. My lord, is that good? Spiders again. I wanted to try and get it closer, but I couldn't get any closer to them. So I cocked that one up. But that's the way life goes. So I'll just kill him if I can. Keep him away. Snipers are dangerous in any part of the map. Clone Troopers there as well, shooting on Maul. Maul standing and thinking, what do I do now? And this is going to be a really good win for us if we can just hang on as we move into double energy. Big, strong push coming down the centre. Right Troopers on the left. In goes Maul's special card there. And that shield, that turret is going to be gone. Um, really shouldn't have dropped my Clone Troopers there, to be honest with you, but I did. Uh, just as extra defence. What's happened is that we're both going to push. 
and Padme's going to try and come across and stop this droidica, but droidica's going to melt that turret, but I'm making a strong push down the middle now, but unfortunately for me, the Vulture droid takes care of everything else. A general rush on Cody. Can we just get enough onto this turret to win the day? Cody focuses his fire away, but look at that damage the rocket trooper's done to that turret, melting it down. Padme's making another push. But we have to be careful of this now. We are vulnerable. This turret's going to be gone. That turret's going to be gone. And what that will do is it will allow them to get back into the game. Like here, I need to, need to defend this now. The middle turret's gone. Shield generation is vulnerable. But really for us now, it is a case of defending. That turret is as good as gone. So we just have to hold the middle ground right now. Keep everything away from our middle turret. The air units don't do much damage, especially those ones. Droid ships. Let's keep our dear old friend busy, and that's going to be a GG for us again with that one turret remaining, hanging on for dear life. And there you go. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think. That is our dear old friend, Commander Cody, and Obi-Wan Kenobi's Clone Trooper deck. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please give a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. And if you haven't subscribed, there is a button there to subscribe for some more Force Arena content. And may the force be with you.